What is going on you guys, Tutorial Tim here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Viewports Figma plugin. Uh, it's a pretty helpful tool if you want to see what your designs look like across a fair share of uh, viewports, of course. Um, viewports range from uh, phones, tablets, desktops, uh, types, sets of iPhones, and phone viewports for Android and iPad. Also, uh, tablets on Android. Uh, one thing I did find confusing about this plugin, once you have it installed, the link's in the description. Uh, if you go to plugins and viewport, I have this file as well, this Figma file. You can duplicate it and view it. Uh, link is in the description as well. Um, you have this list of viewports, and all these categories make sense to me other than the phones. I don't know. These all seem like very general sizes that I don't know what they apply to. But as you can see, there's also uh, phones sizing for phones and which are iOS and Android based and then there's this like random category in my opinion which is at the top which doesn't seem to be the most relevant category but anyways you can also search for the layout you need right so maybe I want iPhone 11 I got my iPhone 11's variations and the scale in which they um, export at um, and then like the coverage on in the market I'm not really sure where they're pulling that data from but uh, that gives you a general idea of the the uh, market uh, this uh, device size is being utilized or whatever phones are being used by users and uh, if you want to look at what your designs look like it's pretty simple I have this example uh, UI layout right um, and all I got to go to all I got to do is uh, in my viewports plugin I just select uh, the device I want to see this uh, scaled to so for example I have this uh, viewport of 360 by 740 um, maybe I want to change it to 414 by by 736 and you'll see that the dimensions have changed right here and you'll also see what that looks like in in a comparison to what it was originally so originally it's 360 by 740 and I'm just gonna hit command shift Z to undo that because I selected that viewport and you can kind of see a change in width and how that scales um, if your components are if your UI it has the proper constraints applied I believe this will scale accordingly with no issues um, as you can see uh, there's all these other layouts as well so you can see what this looks like on desktop and, um, and you kind of get the general idea of how to use this plugin it's very simple to use and effective to give you a general idea of what your layout looks like across platforms which is very helpful when developing a design system for example um, also I have these laid out for you um, look at that um, you got every category here in the order uh, specified in the plugin so uh, should be very simple to navigate. Uh, so we got got a desktop, iPads, iPhones, all that stuff. So uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, let me know uh, by leaving a like and uh, leave a comment if you'd like another video on a specific plugin. And uh, subscribe. If not, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.